We are back trying to make $1 million with no job. When we left off, we had just gotten married to uh, Miss Hiddlesticks over here. Oh, she kind of ugly? Stop it. She's not ugly and she's rich. She has a big house, okay? She had a really big house that we sold for $70,000. So leave her alone. Anyway, you guys know what it means when we have a new marriage. It means we also uh, have a new future death on our hands because uh, we need to kill her. I think we should start off this episode by taking Hiddlesticks down to her new room. We just need to go ahead and um, unlock this bookshelf because Hiddlesticks, guess what? There's actually a door here. It's not just a bookshelf, look, come here. How cool is this? And then there's a little ladder, let's go down. I bet you had no idea this even existed. Just take a couple steps this way and here is your brand new room. Um, Okay, don't be upset. Like, it's fine. There's honestly a lot here. There's decoration and you get a pet too. Look. Go, 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 go. Perfect. Oh, look at this. She's already having a lot of fun in her new room. All right, I'm gonna uh, go back upstairs, but you have fun down here, Hiddlesticks, okay? <laughs> I'm just like thinking about the urns over and over again. She's like looking at each individual urn and thinking about it. She actually like went down the line here. <laughs> She's still going. She's going down the line. Oh my God. <laughs> no other thoughts. Oh, wait, she just had one about fighting. Maybe fighting me. All right, anyway. Oh, what the hell happened up here? It's these ghosts. All right, at least he's helping clean up because this is just... I mean, this is ridiculous. Oh, well, would you look at that? It's New Year's Eve. While my Sim gets a little bit of rest, I'm thinking for New Year's Eve, maybe I make a little change to my property. You know, we're starting off a new year. I wanna, I wanna make a change, have a fresh start. And I've really been thinking about hiring a landscaper to come and uh, install a pond in my yard. I just think, it would really add something to the property, you know? There's so much space here. I just feel like a pond would be so beautiful, especially with the water behind my property. It would just add to it. Oh my God, what happened? Oh, wow, look at this. This is just Borgina. It's a little more expensive than I thought, $2,000. Um, but you know what? I really do think it's just gonna make my property like a painting. I don't know if I can live without it. I think right here might be some perfect placement. Oh, wow. <gasps> That's so beautiful. I think we wanna maybe add like a little fence around it just to make sure that nobody falls in. You know what I'm saying? Cause it does look a little deep. I don't wanna be responsible for that if anybody falls in there. Like who knows, maybe somebody walking by on the sidewalk might see the pond and try and get a closer look. So I think it's just best to be safe rather than sorry. Let's just do this one. It's pretty cheap and we'll just do a little border around the pond here. There we go. Oh my God, this is perfect. Why do I have so many books in my inventory? What the hell? Well, I guess I might as well sell these. Listen, it's only a dollar for a book, but I need every single cent I could take. That one was 10. I'm just gonna add a little door here just so um I uh, or Maybe someone else can go in there and get a closer look at the pond. And here we go. Wow, this is so Gorgina. I can't get over it. It's literally Gorgina. I need to wake my Sim up right now to go get a closer look. This is so exciting. <gasps> Stun. Stun. Another big reason why I thought installing a pond on my property would be a beautiful thing is because I can actually add some animals to this pond. I just feel like bringing some life to the property, it just it adds to the beauty. Check this out. We could add some koi fish. We could add some piranhas. We could add some sprites. <laughs> what the hell is a sprite? Like soda, cans of soda. Or we could even add sharks, which I'm feeling really inclined to add sharks. I just think, I think that would be the perfect thing to have in this pond. <sighs> it's a little expensive, but you know what? I think, I think it's worth it. Okay, girl, get the f out of there. Go, go, go. Get out of there now. Go. Look for everyone. <laughs> Look at the 
one swimming around. I love how this one's fin is out of the water. It's giving very Jaws, you know? I feel like my Sim is so happy with the landscaper's work. She's so happy to have three new little shark pets in the backyard. And now I'm just gonna let her get a little bit of rest because she's a little tired. But in the meantime, let's go down here and check on Hiddleston. Ooh. Oh, oh my God, she's okay. Oh, I feel bad, you guys, I'm feeling bad. There's no windows down here, there's no fresh air, and I don't know, we did just do so much to the landscaping outside, and I, I feel like she's really missing out on all of these new additions. Bro, <laughs> she's still thinking about the urns, she's not even looking at them this time. Oh, now she wants to fight me again. Let me go down there and unlock the door. Hey, Hiddlesticks, how was the night down here? Did you sleep well? Oh, All right, well, let me go ahead and unlock this and then uh, let's go up here and, and check this pond out. Hiddlesticks, look! Look at our new pond and our new little sharkies! Oh my god, this is so exciting. We need to remember this moment forever with some pictures. Oh, this is perfect! Jeez! Oh, I love this one. It's so silly. Jeez. Well, actually... Hmm, should I go for a swim in the pond? Oh, wait, I'm fucking mogging her. I'm mogging her in this one. Anyway, um, I'm just gonna lock for everyone but Jen, and I'm gonna just go out here. Oh, hey, Kyle. Just going for a walk by my house? She's feeling a little frightened by the sharks, I think. Listen, I just thought this might be a better place for her to hang out, okay? Um, I don't know if she's even noticed yet that I locked the fence door behind me on my way out because she's so engulfed by the pond, but, um... Yeah, she is stuck in there. When she wakes up from her little nap she's taking right now, I think, um... I think maybe she should should jump in. I don't know. I'm just suggesting cuz cuz look at her hygiene you guys. Like it's really low. I don't know. I feel like if she jumps in the water like she will get cleaned, you know? Listen, the sharks are nice. They're they're nice. They're not going to do anything, you know. <laughs> she could play with them a little bit first so they get to know her a little better before she jumps in there to clean herself off, okay? News news. Oh my god, look at it. It's so cute. Oh. Oh my god, she flips. Stop, this is actually so cute. <laughs> Wait a second, where the hell did she pull that fish out of? Uh, okay, why don't you jump in there and um, get a little cleaned off? Damn, is she coming back up? Oh, okay. <laughs> she drowned in there. Jump back in there. Didn't really get cleaned off, so I think you need to take a second, a second jump. <laughs> what happened? What just happened? Oh my god, you guys, the sharks didn't even get her. She just drowned in there. Oh my god, did she not know how to swim? Oh my god, maybe that's why it took so long for her to come up the first time. No way, she just... Oh my god, look at the sharks' faces. They don't give a fuck. Girl, get up. Use your arms and your feet and swim up to the surface. Seriously? Oh my god. You guys, I'm kind of sad. Like, I wanted to... I wanted to feed my sharks with her. Or, um, I mean... Um, I mean, on, on a completely separate note, you guys, uh, just pretend, like, forget about this happening. Uh, maybe my sharks are hungry and I need to be fed. I think I'm gonna run out there and try and plead for her life. Plead for Elo- wait, who is that? Plead for Elo- who the fuck is that? Eloise. Oh my god damn, she's just floating down there. She's just floating down there. <laughs> ew, ew, this is sick. Go, go, plead for her, go. Oh my 
god, it worked! El wait, who's Eloise? Eloise has been brought back to life. Jen's impassioned pleas to the Grim Reaper must have worked. Now, let's take a closer look at this, you guys, because how is he... How is he gonna bring this back to life? It's actually crazy that she stinks so f***ing bad that we can still see the fumes at the bottom of the pond. Like, damn, take a shower. He's taking his sweet ass time. I think you need to move a little quicker. Ah! Oh! Oh my gosh, wait, she went back down. Oh, okay, she's up. Whoa, that was crazy, you guys. I've never seen that before. That was crazy. Oh my god, she's full on life too. This is good because um, someone in the chat was saying that they think that the sharks maybe recognized her fishy smell and thought they were one of them. And that's maybe why they didn't eat her. And now her hygiene is up and uh, her energy's up too. So I think we can just have her keep jumping into the pond and uh, hopefully they'll they'll snack on her now. <laughs> the way the Crib Reaper hasn't left yet and I'm already throwing her back in the pond. <laughs> Someone in the chat said he's just waiting. Stop, he's coming to talk her out of it, I swear. You can't! <laughs> he's waiting for this. around again I just I think she can't swim is there a different death for sharks eating her like I swear there is well so are they just gonna leave her down there or well damn that uh that happened really fast. I feel like the sharks definitely did have a play in this death though. I think they might've been holding her head underwater. <gasps> oh my God, look who it is. It's that other b with the house that we didn't end up marrying. I'm really nervous that she just showed up at my house, you guys, because I don't know, like what if she sees the pond? She was just at my wedding and I don't know, maybe she's looking around, she's thinking, where's Hiddlesticks? Where's Hiddlesticks? Oh no, the tombstone's right there. <gasps> Shit, let me just grab that and put that in my inventory. Go away. Yeah, that's right, and stay out and go that way. Yup, go that way. Oh, I'm starting to think maybe I should just sell this shit so nobody else sees it. I'm pretty emotionally attached to the sharks already, I'm not gonna lie, but it's better if they just get out of here. We cannot risk it. Mm -mm. And just like that, it's like it never even happened. Whew, that was stressful. That was really stressful. It was a really hard day for me. Oh, it's only 9.40 p.m. There's still time to celebrate New Year's Eve. Maybe I should get my ass up and get out of there and party, you guys. I know just the place to ring in the New Year, you guys. We're gonna hoot and holler down at the Rosie Horseshoe, you heard? Yeehaw! I see someone blowing it. They're back out in there already. This is gonna be the best New Year's yet. Let's start off, what do we have to do? Party spirit, make resolutions, countdown to midnight. All right, well, let me make my resolution real quick. I'm going to make it get a significant other. Listen, I know my wife just died, like actually maybe one minute ago, but I feel like that's plenty of time for me to have mourned it and gotten over it. I mean, that's why I'm out here celebrating on New Year's Eve and I'm ready to get back out there. All right, come on, hit that dance, yee yee. Wait, who did one of the slams literally just say yeehaw? Yeehaw, get me on down here to the rusty barrel. I'm gonna hit yeehaw and hit on, hit that shit on, yeehaw on the dance floor. Oh, is that who I think it is? It's Barrow. Oh my God, back from the dead to celebrate the new year at the one and only Rusty Horseshoe. Wait, who's this ghost? Why are all the ghosts out? Joaquin, what are you doing there? Get back in the basement. Oh my God, here we go. Me and Barrow are hitting that shit. Yeehaw, yee yee. It says up here for the New Year's, I need to have the party spirit. So um, I think I should bust out the fireworks. I mean, that's like what the New Year is all about. Happy New Year. Happy New Year. 
It's almost the new year, you guys. Five minutes, three minutes, two minutes, one minute. Come on, hit that final cowpoke dance. Let's go. Right on a horse. Oh, what? New Year's Eve was awful. Like, what? I seriously participated in all the traditions I liked. I lit like six fireworks. This is awful, you guys. I am down badly. Look, I think there's only one thing that could maybe fix this just even a little bit, and that's a robbery. But damn, all this sh it looks ancient and cheap. All right, I'm just gonna go to a big mansion. <gasps> Look at this mansion. Oh my God, how have we never gone here before? Oh my God, this place is giant. Oh my God, I feel like you know you've made it when you have four benches in the front of your house. Like why do you need four benches? Normally I would start a break in, but I think I'm just gonna knock on the door and go in here. Listen, it's New Year's. I mean, I'm sure they're down for a little celebration. Hello, happy New Year's. Oh my God, this place is nice. Oh, wow, what the f Oh my God, you guys, already I've seen so many things that are worth stealing. First of all, we've got this beautiful grandfather clock in the hallway. We've got a computer in here. This one's an expensive one. Down here, we've got a grand piano. And we've got a flat screen TV over here. There is really, there's a lot. Tribna. Oh, but first I'm actually really hungry. I did see someone grilling in the backyard when I showed up here. So let me get out there and grab one of those burgers. Who are you people who live here? Hi, happy new year. Um, I will be shoving this piano up my ass really quick while everyone's outside. Cause out of all of the options, I think this one is probably the most expensive and it's the smallest and the least noticeable if it goes missing, you know? And then I think we should do something fun to celebrate New Year's. Uh, they do have a firework launch pad over here. So I'm just gonna put a couple down. Happy New Year! Wait, what? Fire? Shit, fuck. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Oh God, oh God, oh God. How did this happen? I thought it was a firework launch pad. Um, anyway, guys, uh, thanks for having me. Yeah, I'm out of here. All right, we are back home from our amazing night out for New Year's. And I'm, I'm kind of down bad, I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna pick myself up a little bit. I am feeling a lot better after stealing something and starting a fire, but I'm down bad in the, the um, hygiene and energy department. And while I'm fixing myself up, let's go ahead and see just how much money we got from that grand piano steal. 1,415, I mean, I guess it covers some of the pond. And we also need to go ahead and put uh, Hiddlesticks down in the basement. I think I've got just the spot for her right up here. Wow. This is, I mean, I was gonna say impressive, but it's concerning. While we're down here, we also need to hang our marriage certificate and a couple of photos as well. Let's see, we gotta find them though. What's this? Oh, no, it's not that. Oh my God, there's just so many pictures, you guys. It's really hard to... No, it's not that. Is it in this pile? <laughs> oh, did I take them super big? Oh my God. No, I didn't mean to take them all that big. Here, I'll just shrink it. There's one of them. There is one. Okay. And that's a goofy, silly one too. I love to see that. Perfect. All right, let's just go ahead and rearrange these on the wall. We're gonna put this marriage certificate right here. Shrink this one down. Oh God, it can only be like a little bit bigger or a little bit smaller. That's so annoying. All right, well, I'll put that one down there. There, at least it fits into a tight space. I'll show you a tight space. What does that mean? Someone said that in the chat. What does that mean? Look at this, you guys. This is just clinical. I mean, it really is. I gotta get started on my next marriage, which I also think is gonna be my last because we are so close to $1 million and I know exactly who we're going to marry next and they own a house, which means I think it's easy 1 million from this next and final marriage. I just need to uh, rest up a little bit and then I'm gonna go pay him a visit. 
I'm sure you guys recognize this house. <laughs> oh my god, the picture. I forgot about this. We are at Kyle's house. You guys, this whole series has led up to this. Kyle, he truly is the final boss. And um, I'm about to knock on his door right now and ask him on a date. No, nope. it looks like nobody's home. Where could Kyle even possibly be right now, you guys? Like, he doesn't have a job. He has no friends. I'm his only friend. Like, I don't know. I'm confused where he is. I will just sit here and wait for him to come home. Like, I will. What? Why is this happening? Why am I hysterical? No! Hold on, hold on. I'm just not even doing anything. I'm just standing here, like dissociating. Oh, I think I need to go home. Go, go quickly. Ah, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Come on, calm down, girl. Calm down so we can get back to his porch. We need to get back there. What if he gets home right now? Hurry! Whew, okay. We're good. Let's get back over there. Ooh, it looks like he just got home, you guys. He's literally still outside. All right, well, here we go. I am going to ask him on a date right now, and I really hope he says yes. Alfonso or Fania? Oh, Dolphus Ravuda. Huvune. Oh my God. And we were so close too. We were literally nose to nose. Oh, you guys, this is crazy. It's really crazy. Can't believe this is happening. I have full body chills. I'm gonna take him somewhere really special. Somewhere really, really special. Somewhere I've never, oh, oh my God. <laughs> it's happening again. The stack, the stack is back. Oh my God, Kyle has half of someone else's face right now. What is going on? Why does this keep happening here? Anyway, I was about to say I'm taking him somewhere very special, somewhere I've never taken anyone before. And I'm really excited. Like, you guys, I actually have butterflies right now. I just feel like, I don't know. This is just crazy that we're on a date with Kyle. Let's go ahead and take a seat over here together. Oh, God. Um, okay. I'm gonna just ignore that. This is crazy. Like, he's just, he's always been there, you know? And I don't know. I've always just looked past him. Partially because he's tried to fuck every single person I've married. But also... Because, I don't know, it's just Kyle. Here we go, let's get to flirting. Oh, shit. wait. I need to do drugs before I can start flirting because I'm so sad. Kyle, you stay right there, okay? I just need to use the bathroom really quick. Just stay there, I'll be right back. All right, let me just take a little sip of this really quick. No, no girl, girl, stay in the bathroom. No, don't, go in the back, go back there. Oh my God, she's... <laughs> she really going back over here? <laughs> It's too late. He already saw. We've already got a pretty solid friendship going, so it's time to just change our relationship. It's time to go from friends to lovers. Some are saying enemies to lovers. Let's do some physical intimacy. Make a move. Revsi. Van Tarble, Fimpy, Waxwin, Yaspar. Oh my god. Oh my god. You guys think he's got a big package? Like, how big do you think it is? Like, his, um, uh, pa like, packages that he gets to his house. Like, do you think he has a lot of money and he's ordering big items? I feel like he probably is ordering big items. Like, I don't know. I think a lot has changed since he first stayed at our place and had nowhere to live. Because now he's got this big house right on the bay, on the boardwalk. He was dating Judith Ward at one point, you guys. I don't know if you remember that. It was back towards the beginning of the series. But I don't know. I think he's just come a long way. I think he's got money. Okay, why did this just pop up in the top corner saying Jen and Eloise have a strong romantic relationship like she's dead 
He's dead and gone. What about me and Kyle? What's going on here? Jen's romantic feelings about Kyle, neutral. Let's see how he feels about me. Relationship, ask about physical attraction. Let's see, has Kyle been wanting to f all along or what's going on? Okay, let's see. Looks aren't everything, but truthfully, I do look out for some physical aspects in a partner. Orange hair, white hair, brown clothes, red clothes, turn off gray hair. Kyle, you know what? Uh, I'll be right back, okay? I'll be right back. I'm just gonna run to the bathroom again really quick. Just stay right here, okay? I'll be right back. I'll be right back. <laughs> I'm back! <laughs> I just went to the bathroom really quick and um... I took out the hair dye. I took out the hair dye. What do you think about me now, Kyle? Can we get a little kiss? Put that phone down and look at my hair! Does he like it, you guys? I don't know, I'm feeling really insecure. I just did a lot for him. Do you like it? Tell me. Let's see, it says attraction? You're all right, I guess. I don't think anything is particularly wrong with you, at least. Oh my god, I... I'm a, I'm a ginger for him. I literally just went and dyed my hair orange for him and that's what he has to say to me. And some are asking, does the carpet match the drapes? And yes, they do. I got that dyed too. Why did he say that to me? <sighs> Seriously? <sighs> Whatever, you guys. Listen, I'm not gonna let this bring me really far down, okay? I already, truth be told, when I went to the store to get the orange hair dye, I also got bleach, okay? So I'm ready to bleach my hair again when I get home. So I'm, I'm not gonna let this drag me down. I'm just gonna stay focused. Keep on with the date here. Um, I've got to kiss and passionately have deep conversations. Yeah, let's just, let's just keep on with the date, okay? Let's do the kiss, I guess. It's our first one. I'm nervous. Oh, shit. I'm about to miss it. What just happened? I'm about to miss it. Okay, that was kind of hot. Ooh, let's do a tender neck kiss. And let's do it in first person too, so we can really like, like pretend like we're doing it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> oh my god. Okay, come on. We need to we need to kiss and stuff. What, what the hell is that? What is that? The thought bubble, what is it? Guys, never dye your hair for a man, okay? Never do it because look what's happening to me. I'm really trying to make this the perfect date, you guys. And the perfect date ends with a proposal. I mean, we've known each other for so long. Uh I think it's only right. So let's get this started with asking him to be our romantic partner. Oh my god, he said yib so fast. I like looked away for a split second after I did that and we're partners. And I just completed my resolution. Yup, yup. Oh, oh my god, I'm dominant. This is just going incredibly well. Like, look at that, gold date. It can't get any better than this, except it can because uh, it's gonna end with a proposal here any second. I'm just gonna give him a little goose. Whoa. <laughs> oh my god, two fingers just went right up there. I think that was the perfect segue into proposing. Here we go, you guys. He said yips! I can't believe the day has come that this notification is popping up on screen, you guys. Jen just got engaged to Kyle. This was just a beautiful date. It really was. My god, it couldn't have gotten better than this. And look at those beautiful blue eyes he has, you guys. Yeah. Yes. Oh. 
Philippa. Oh. Abenor. <laughs> okay, girl, we see him. <laughs> oh, shit. Okay, our date just went so well, and I'm the host with the most, bitch. Host 50 bronze or better social events. The fact that, like, a fucking third of those were my wedding is crazy. Now I think it's time for me to go home and really just think about what just happened. All right, we are back home, newly engaged woman, and I'm about to get the bleach out, you guys. F Kyle. Seriously, f Kyle. I know we're engaged, but I'm going back to blonde. Did you get the drapes? Oh, I got the drapes, don't worry. And there we go, back to blonde, you guys. A little worried Kyle is gonna call off the wedding, but I, I think it's gonna be fine. Let's just go ahead and end off this episode by selling this special item I got from our gold date. Because yes, it is worth a lot, $645. I will be taking all of that. And yeah, this is where we are going to end episode 29. In the next episode, you guys, we will be having our 13th and final wedding. Wow, guys, this is crazy. Everything has really lined up perfectly. Like, I can't believe it. I hope you have been enjoying this series and I hope you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys all next time. Bye, YouTube.